Hello, Roundtable fans, and welcome to our exclusive uh, blog about EA's press conference. Our impressions, what we thought, what we liked, what we didn't like, and let's give it a go. Now, I want to start off by exactly how EA started off, and that's showing off all the wonderful and great games for girls. Roger, help us with this one. That's all you can really say. We got games. We got games for the daughters. We got games for the teenage girls. Blah 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 blah. Waste of time. I, I took a nap until everything else came on. Like until EA Sports started. That's all you can really say about the beginning of the EA press conference. I mean, I have nothing against trying to bring you know more of the female audience into gaming, but can we at least try it by not being ridiculously sexist? I mean, do all, I don't think all girls want to go shopping at malls and checking out fashion shows. I mean, I, maybe some of you do. I don't know, but I'm sorry. No. I know girls that play Quake. Come on. Let's stop it with this already. Games are universal. Let's try and keep them universal. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> EA's next big announcement. Uh, more about EA Sports, yada, yada, yada. But here's the big thing, and I'm sure all of you have played the demo by now. Fight Night Round 4. What'd you got, Roger? I don't really think this game needs much of an explanation. It's coming out in three weeks. It's gonna, it's gonna be like, oh my god, best-selling boxing game of all time because if everybody bought Fight Night Round Three, said this is like one of the best sports games I've ever played, and now Fight Night Round Four improves upon that. It's gonna be bigger. It's gonna be better, guys. And it's got Iron Mike Tyson versus Muhammad Ali. I mean, come on, who doesn't want to see that matchup? Awesome. And it's coming out soon, so you might just want to pick it up. Uh, next big announcement from EA, uh, let's see, I think, what is it, Peter Moore took the stage and board us to tears, uh, let's see, what did, he, what did he even talk about? Oh yeah, the Wii stuff, uh, active or whatever. The Wii, the, the, expo the expansions upon Wii active, the new exercises, he also talked about a little bit of the new uh, Madden NCAA online features, the new franchises, which actually look pretty cool, like for anyone who's really into managing their team. So that was pretty cool features that they added to it. Yeah, they had a way you could do it, uh, like on your iPhone, you could do it on a laptop, I mean, basically, if you have a team franchise that you're seeking out in Madden or NCAA, you can just take it anywhere and basically waste your time no matter where you are. It's actually pretty cool. i got to give them credit for that. I did really like that with the customization because you can customize your jerseys, your helmets. You can actually, from what I saw in the little video, you can upload your own custom logos for your teams, like for um, put on the uniforms and the jerseys. So that was actually pretty cool. So that's a lot of really nice integration for the players. And it also looked like as he was doing it that it was changing in real time. Like if he uploaded a logo or a number or whatever, it would just change right on the player, right on the field. You know, just like that. And wow. I gotta say, if, you, if you're if you into team customization for your sports games, EA definitely has a great future for you. So I gotta, I gotta give them major props. Well, let, let's talk about uh, some of their other big announcements. I would talk about uh, more of the Wii stuff, but uh, let's face it, does anybody really care? It's just more exercise games. Yeah. And before you call me on it, we're going to talk about Grand Slam Tennis in a little bit, so hold your horses there, Wii fans. Don't, don't turn off your video just yet. Okay. But let's talk about something a little bit more exciting. Tim Schafer. You know him. I know him. I love him. But let's talk about what Double Fine is working on. Brutal Legend. I don't even have to say it. Bridget? That game is just going to be... Pure awesome. Coming out October, all metal, all heavy rock. It looks. It's just gonna be freaking awesome. All the voice work they got. They got. Uh, they got Ozzy in the game. They got Lemmy in the game. It's just gonna be freaking ridiculous. And of course, everybody already knows that Jack Black plays the uh, title role character. He's got some great lines in it. Um, there's so much dialogue in that game. It doesn't look like any of the phrases are gonna be repeated to the point where you, you know, where you want to like go, oh, shut up already. But no, it looks really really good it looks fun the boss battles look like they're going to be insane i gotta say this is the dungeon crawler for people who don't like dungeon crawlers because it really looks awesome i'm excited about this game uh next big game uh we're going to talk about bioware bioware brought out two big titles the first title they brought out i think everybody is yawning about this one uh at this point but dragon age origins yeah what do you got on that one right what yeah, Dragon uh, Dragon Age. Do, do well, care. considering the fact they didn't even show a new trailer for the game, they said, "Oh, here's all new in-game in-game play, new trailer for the game." It was just like a game in-game cinematic 
on the game engine, so they didn't really show any new gameplay to touch base upon like the last thing that we saw in it, which was at GDC, that gameplay footage put me to sleep, unless you're really playing with multiple people. Yeah, I'm not exactly blown away by the stuff they showed on Dragon Age so far. I mean, if you ever wanted to be bored to tears, just watch any of the Dragon Age trailers. Maybe miss a couple hours of sleep while you're doing it, because by the time by the time you realize what's going on, you will be asleep, there will be drool on your keyboard. So, sorry guys, and I wish the drool was because you would actually be happy about it, but no. But let's talk about something a little bit more on the up and up. Mass Effect 2. Thank God, Mass Effect 2. Roger? Mass Effect 2 looks like it's going to shape up to be really good. I'm, I really want to see the continuation of the storyline for Shepard and Normandy. Uh, just one thing I want them to do is... Maybe I'm, I'm, I'm probably not the only one, but I just really thought Mass Effect was great storyline, character integration, all the different like characters in the game. But the combat was so lacking in the game, like not like the Knights of the Old Republic. I mean, that's the only thing that held back Mass Effect, so I hope they really improve that in too. I gotta say that uh, the big thing about Mass Effect was the uh, dialogue trees and how dynamic they were. Uh, Mass Effect 2, I'm really excited about because I feel that that's going to take it to an even higher level. I'm really excited about what I saw in the trailer. Uh, I'd have to slightly disagree with you on the combat, uh, Roger, not because I'm saying that you know it was any less stiff than you're saying it is, but uh, I thought it was it was very uh, very dynamic. I just feel that uh, as you'd mentioned that it should be a little bit more polished. Like overall, it was good, but it, like you just a little bit shinier, and it could be great. Like that's that's really what it, uh, what it needs. Next one about Bioware, Star Wars: The Old Republic. Uh, we don't haven't seen much on this game, but uh, do I have to say anything beyond OES? Oh, yes? I mean, I've been following this game all the time. I've posted on the web, I've been posting on the forum, been following every single piece of news. Um, actually, I'd suggest that if you're looking forward to the game, look them up on Facebook because if you follow the uh, fan page, you'll get every single new update without even having to check the website out. Because if you're on Facebook, most likely you're on there at least once a day, so you'll be able to see any new updates. You can get to see. Right at the moment, new updates to the job. New classes like Bounty Hunter. The, if you haven't seen it yet, go check out the Trooper and the Smuggler, which they just announced. So, it's looking nice. It's been really good. We only got a cinematic trailer for it, but, I mean, it's Star Wars. So, I, I, it gave me goosebumps. So, I, I had a little nerdgasm from that one. Next on the agenda, we have uh, something also by uh, Real Time Worlds. Awesome. Uh, APB. This is one I know that doesn't seem like a surprise to anybody. We've been following it a lot. Uh, what did you think of what they showed uh, today? I like how getting to finally see what the in-game engine looks like, fully graphic, like graphics-wise. So I mean, it looks like it's going to be really good. It looks like all the customization is going to be there. Picking your side, being with the cops, being with the, being with the street thugs, or making your own like crime organization, which they you didn't mention. Uh, I'm just wondering, is, uh, when they first announced that Sable was going to be exclusive to the PS3, they didn't really mention any console exclusive, exclusive, exclusivity for the game. For the game. So, no one, uh, I'm just wondering, if maybe it's going to be multi-plat now, or maybe even like cross-platform servers? That would be great. I would agree with you there, Reg. And i got to say that uh, from what I saw uh, for APB, I haven't seen much beyond what, they, what they've shown. It's just basically a somatic slash gameplay engine trailer. But it looks like it's going to be good. And Real Time Worlds, I mean, they put out Crackdown. And GTA 1 and 2. So, they got to be doing something right. I'm really, really excited about, uh, about uh, what they may very well do with this game. And last, and uh, not least for all your Wii owners out there, Grand Slam Tennis. It's tennis with Wii Motion Plus. And the Wii Motion Plus is packed in. Yes, confirmed, packed in. Ryan, what did you think of Grand Slam Tennis when they showed it off? It basically just looked like tennis power play, like tennis power play all over again, but with the Wii Motion Plus, which I really couldn't tell was making a difference in how well you can control it. I mean, it just still looked like they were swinging any way you want, like like with the Wii Sports Tennis that came with the Wii. I mean, it didn't really look like it was improving much. So. It is a little sad. I mean, when you look at the Wii's uh, the games, and a lot of the ones where they try to improve on the ones that were already included with the system, you play them and then you say, you know, I hate to say it, but the one that came with the system is better. Now, Grand Slam Tennis, I know it's it's the Wii, so you probably have to actually sit down and play with Wii Motion Plus before you can say, yeah, this feels right, this feels better, this is more 1-1. One, one. But when we saw it on the stage, I mean, Peter Moore was playing it with, uh, who knows, one of the developers, and it just... It didn't 
seem any different from the one that came in the box.